Hi, it's Nancy Linruth with UnblockResults.com, and I think I figured out this whole Facebook Live new thing, so I think I'm on at the right time. Uh, it says I'm live now, so uh, hopefully, uh, maybe I should repeat myself. Uh, hi, this is Nancy Linruth, UnblockResults.com. I'm a procrastination coach and an EFT or tapping specialist. Uh, and today, I want to talk about something that I I actually started to talk about it last week, um, but I want to get more specific this week. Last week, I talked about how the extra stress these days is triggering our procrastination uh, and how that's one of the reasons why we're getting less done these days. There's some other reasons we're getting less done, but but when our procrastination is our go-to, the stress can make it show up more often. Today, what I want to talk a bit about is how the stress that's happening around us right now is really triggering our old money stories. And that's affecting our actions. It's causing procrastination. I mean, one of the big, and I did a whole Facebook Live on this before, one of the uh, reasons, uh, one of the big causes of procrastination is our money beliefs, our, our subconscious money stories. So what's happening in our environment right now has activated us big time. Uh, the, if you think about it, all the news about companies laying off massive amounts of people, small businesses going under all over the place, uh, especially in your neighborhood, you're probably seeing the signs and hearing from people about companies that have gone under. Uh, and then there's the news, all the unemployment figures, the how millions of new people every week are filing for unemployment. And, and when you get that barrage of news like that, it can activate a lot of different money stories. Um, there's a lot of fear. And uh, we can end up focusing on lack. So that those feelings of lack can crowd out our feelings and beliefs in abundance. And so if, if you follow and believe in law of attraction, you'll see that, that uh, when, you, when you're feeling more lack instead of abundance, you're gonna attract more lack to you. But even if you don't believe in law of attraction, you're, I think I can show you here how those fears and feelings can lead you to taking actions or not taking actions that are gonna really affect your finances. Um, so as those money stories, those subconscious beliefs around money get activated, they start running the show and it affects how you show up. So uh, one example is with business owners. Uh, it can really mess up how they show up and get out there so they don't make as many offers. Or let's say that you get a, on a phone, uh, a sales call with somebody, but you've got this feeling of lack like, oh, no, oh, no. I'm not going to make enough money this this month. I might have to lay somebody off or I might not be able to pay the bills. And you show up for that sales call from that feeling of lack. You, you end up feeling and, and broadcasting this desperate need. You never want to show up desperate to a sales call. Trust me. Um, it, 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 people don't want to think that you need them more than they need you. I've heard that. I don't know where from, but it's an excellent way of putting it. You obviously have something good for people. That's why you want to get out there. You don't want them thinking you're just trying to get into their wallet. So so you don't want to show up from that, that energy of lack. But it can show up in other ways, too. Your old money stories can make it harder to take action. So maybe you procrastinate around money. This is my thing, right? Uh, maybe you don't pay your bills on time. Maybe you don't send out your invoices so you don't get paid in time. Maybe you don't get your taxes done uh, on time. I'm, or maybe you never get them done. I, I've known somebody who went for years without doing that. Um, so it can be affecting procrastination around money. Your money stories can have you making mistakes with money. Maybe you make bad investments or you buy things you don't need. Or you might even just lose money. Um, it's... It, Maybe you, 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 you're you doing your check, check register and you're not keeping track of things the right way. It messes with your mind and that messes with your actions. Uh, it can also lead you to just give up. Like um, I've heard this sort of message like, why bother looking for another job? There's none out there, which isn't true. I mean, yes, there's a lot of people filing for unemployment, but there are also jobs out there. Um, it can make you not 
they can offer. If, if, if you're in business, but you feel like, well, why bother? No one's got money right now. He might not make that offer. These are things that I've addressed in uh, my my most, uh, I did an activating sales confidence, which is still going. It's almost, it's got two more weeks to go. Um, but that one's closed. Can't do that one. <laughs> but I've, I've, I've been seeing this and hearing this from a lot of people in that group about how it's really affecting the way they're acting um, and feeling. I mean, you can feel just plain helpless and hopeless when you've got this money story telling you in the back of your mind, there's no point. It's it, There's all sorts of um things it can tell you. And let me give you a few examples here. In fact, I'm going to talk about this this week on uh, more Facebook uh, posts about uh, the different money stories that are getting activated and now and how they show up. Stories like, uh, I don't deserve it, or I'm no good with money, or there's never enough, or making money is too hard. And if, if, the, if you've got one of those or more of those stories getting activated right now, it's going to shut you down. It's going to be a lot harder to get out there and do what would actually make things okay. So when you're having your negative money stories triggered, one of the best things to do is to really clear out the limiting stories that you have around money. And if you know me, <laughs> you know by now that I'm going to tell you that the best way to do that is with EFT or tapping. That's the thing I do with people. Um, so if you know tapping, by all means, get started right now tapping on your money stories. Don't wait until they, they come around and bite you. If you know that there's a problem, start tapping now so that you can lower your resistance to doing what you need to do and, and do it the right way. To get some help with it, though, because sometimes, I mean, most tapping practitioners know they can't tap on their own things. I know I can't. Um, if you're good on your own doing it, that's fantastic. But to get some help with it, let me tell you, I'm starting my Money Blocks Blockbuster group um, a week from Friday. So that'll be Friday, May 15th. Um, and in that group, I've done it before, and it's it's really fantastic, uh, the results people see. Um, what we do is we do some group tapping on common blocks at the beginning of each session. And there's eight sessions. Uh, and I, I, I've done surveys, I've checked out, and I, I know some of the biggies, and those are the ones that we put into the group tapping. And then at each session, uh, there's some hot seats where a person, or usually two or three people, get to work specifically directly on their own money stories so that they can release them and replace them. And everyone gets at least two hot seats because I keep the numbers down. So uh, anyway, if, if this is sound calling to you. If you want more information on this, you can go to unblockresults.com forward slash the hyphen money hyphen blocks hyphen blockbuster all one word hyphen program, which is way too long <laughs> title. I will put that in in the in the comments section. So you can just click on the link or you can just reach out to me, uh, Nancy at unblockresults.com and we'll set up a, a call where we can talk about your money story, figure out what that might be and and see if the group is right for you. But don't wait too long, okay? Uh, I've only got eight seats total, and I've, I've already, uh, some of them are gone already. So uh, it, it goes quickly. It's starting in 11 days. That's Friday the 15th, and you want to get on board before then so you can get your mind in the right place and fill out some stuff I need from you so that you can make the most out of it. So don't wait. Um, again, I'll put that, the link to it in the chat, but come back for the rest of the week, uh, uh, for my other Facebook lives. And I'm going to be talking about some of these money stories that we tell ourselves and what they do to us. Um, and, and if you know, tapping, start tapping now, really. Okay. All right. Uh, I will try to get through that as fast as I could. Um, but I'm, uh, if, if you've got any questions, you can always direct message me too through Facebook or again, my email, nancy at unblockresults.com. And uh, I'm rooting for you. Get You, you can do this. Um, and if you know tapping, happy tapping. Take care. Bye-bye.